what's up everyone phoenix here today i'm going to be showing you how to set up your xbox in your bedroom without a monitor or a tv all you're going to need is your xbox your laptop and its power cable lots of kids like me will just have a simple laptop and no gaming pc but they might have an xbox the problem with the xbox is it's always stuck in the living room where you can't really always play on it because you might have other people watching the tv you know, siblings watching cartoons, or people over at the house socialising in the living room, so you can't just go and hop on the Xbox. Well, I've got the solution to that, to use your Xbox in your room, even if you don't have a PC monitor or a TV in your bedroom. So, power on your Xbox. Uh, I've just got my Xbox here, and you need your controller. And because we don't have it connected to a display at the moment, you just wait for a while until you know it's turned on. So if your Xbox has a passcode, you're going to need to memorize off by heart the order of the buttons that you need to press, because you're not going to be able to see the display right now. This has been on for a couple of minutes, so it should have booted up right now. Now just connect your controller. It's connected already, if not, just pair it. And then I'll just put in my code. If you haven't pressed any other buttons on your controller before you turn it on otherwise you may mess up the code. So I memorized my button order, so I just put that in, and now we're ready to uh, connect to the Xbox on your laptop. Microsoft Store, you're just gonna need to download Xbox Console Companion. As you can see, I already have it installed, so we're just gonna open that. Once you've got it, just sign into it with your Microsoft account. Signed into Console Companion, uh, you can see it will probably say like connect to a console and if you're on the Wi-Fi and you haven't connected it to a console before you'll probably see um, that it will pop up automatically on, once you click on down here. If you can't see it pop up and you have to manually type in the IP address then you're going to have to connect your Xbox to the TV, go to your settings, uh, network, advanced and find your IP address and then type that in manually. So you're not going to be able to stream your Xbox until you've signed in with the code like I just did. Other, uh, it won't connect otherwise, so that's why you need to have it memorized. So I'm just going to click stream. Continue. And now we can see my Xbox. So now we can move our laptop over here. And this is now our monitor for the Xbox. So we can just go and use this. This will work better or worse depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Um, so I have quite slow Wi-Fi, so it's not the best, but it's still playable on low quality. However, you can still stream your Xbox on however high resolution your laptop screen is. To change the quality of your streaming, just click on this button and choose which streaming quality you want to stream with. Now this is useful because if you want to play a game with a steering wheel but you don't have a steering wheel set up because they cost like thousands of dollars for a frame, then you can just plug your steering wheel straight into the Xbox from here and then use it with your computer. Thank you everybody for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, please like if you are going to use this method, or if you just enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed already, I do loads of tech tutorials and stuff, skateboarding videos, and just general edits of things that I like to do. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!